Baby, what is it? It's a little mouse. Oh. <laughs> What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have yet another testing weird cat gadgets video for you guys. I've done one a couple of weeks ago and you guys really enjoyed it. So I thought I would come back with a part two. In case you guys haven't seen the first video, I purchased a couple of different things that are basically meant for cats, whether it's toys, gadgets, or even little cute outfits. And basically I'm gonna test them out for you guys with my cat Sky in this video. Now, since I've done that first video, I've actually made Sky an Instagram. So if you guys wanna go follow her, it's just Sky the Savannah. I'll link her Instagram down below. I just wanted to create an Instagram for her for the longest time and I thought this would be the perfect occasion because you guys really loved her and her personality in the last video. I'm also really excited because a portion of this video is actually very kindly sponsored by Solitaire Pets. If you guys don't know what Solitaire Pets is, it's basically a game of Solitaire but with a twist. I played Solitaire on my first ever PC and it was probably one of the first games I had ever played and it was so much fun. So if you guys enjoyed Solitaire Solitaire, the regular one, you will love Solitaire Pets Adventure because it's basically playing Solitaire whilst rescuing really cute animals. I personally love playing all kinds of games on my phone. I have so freaking many, but Solitaire Pets is really fun because it's quite challenging but relaxing at the same time. So I like to play it like right before bed or as soon as I wake up. It's honestly quite addictive. I'll pop a little gameplay of my phone right now on screen so you guys can see and get a gist of what the game is like. So at the top you have a target of what cards you want to collect. You have the ace deck and you also have the deck of cards on the right hand side where you can try and find the cards that you need. At the bottom you also have some boosters which are actually limited so you definitely don't want to use them on just any game. You really want to use them when you're actually super stuck which I've definitely made the mistake already and I've kind of just used them pointlessly. I really wish I saved them for the harder levels because I'm currently on level 17 and it's getting quite hard. Now because this game is about rescuing pets, 10% of this campaign's earnings are going to be going to AMC, the Animal Medical Center, which is the largest non-profit hospital for animals. So if you guys want to download the game for free and also be a part of the campaign's donations, make sure you click the link in the description. If you guys are brand new here and you haven't seen my face before, make sure you guys come and subscribe and join the dinosaur family. But if you guys want to see what I picked up from Wish for my cat Sky, then let's get on into the video. All right guys, so the first item I have is right here. Now this I'm pretty sure is gonna be one of the cute little outfits that I picked out for Sky. If you guys haven't seen the first video yet, Sky is a very strange cat. She is a cat that basically acts like a dog. So that means that she actually doesn't mind wearing little outfits. She usually wears Halloween costumes. She wears like little Christmas jumpers and it's so cute and she really doesn't mind. I basically picked up this little princess dress for her from Wish. Okay. Okay, so this is the little dress. Oh my freaking god. This is actually adorable. Oh my god, she's gonna look so cute in this. This was only two pounds. I actually can't believe that. That's actually pretty good quality. So in the listing, I think this was actually meant for a dog, but I mean, dog, cat, it doesn't really matter. As long as it fits, it should be fine. I'm so excited. I really hope she likes this, so let's go try it on her. All right, guys, so this is what the dress looks like on, and she looks so cute cute but it is a little bit ill-fitted on her I mean it looks so cute from the back as you can see but the front it's a little bit loose so I feel like it would need something to kind of keep it here together but she just looks so adorable <laughs> look at the little tutu oh baby you a little princess oh no it's falling down you haven't got any shoulders have you to keep it on <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would have been so cute if it actually stayed on like this. Okay, so we've kind of taped this part here so it actually stays on her body and it looks so cute now. She looks like a little princess. Oh. As you can see, she's in such a loving mood right now. She just can't stop doing that. And all she wants to do is just brush up against me. I think I'm gonna give the dress like a 10 out of 10 for the appearance. I think it's so cute. Obviously, it didn't really fit her perfectly. So I think I'm gonna give it like a six for the sizing. All right, guys, the next item I have is this right here. So as you can see, it's basically a pink glove, but it's not just a regular pink glove. It's actually got another side to it which is meant to kind of like brush and comb your cat's fur. So let's pop this on, okay. This feels quite nice actually. It doesn't feel really cheap or anything. The quality is really nicely made. And then this part here feels really nice as well. It's kind of got like a silicon feel to it and all the bristles are quite soft. Sky loves any kind of strokes. I mean, most cats do, I guess. So she's probably gonna love this. All right guys, so I've got the glove and I've got Sky that's just literally by the cameraman. 
<laughs> Come here. What's this? Do you like it? Well, I shouldn't say much you liked it then. What's this? Do you want some strokies? Yeah. I feel like she thinks it's like a toy of some kind. Maybe she's scared of it. <laughs> Do you like that? <laughs> Every time I stroke her, she goes like really low down. <laughs> I can't tell if she likes it. Come here. Do you like it? <laughs> Come here, girly. What's this? What's this? You like the glove? She's purring, guys. I think she. I think she likes it now. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's actually picking up quite a lot of fur as well. I mean, Sky doesn't really have the longest hair anyway, but it is kind of picking up some of the hair that she's shedding, which is pretty cool. I actually think for the amount that we paid for this, it's really affordable and it does work. And Sky seems to like it, so we're giving it a thumbs up. All right, guys, the next item is actually so freaking cool. So as you guys know, Sky is an indoor cat. Obviously, because of her breed, she's a savannah. We don't really let her out because if she ran away, we probably would never see her again. So we try to keep her indoors. And I thought this would be a really cute solution for her. It's basically a harness and a leash, but it's Gucci print. How freaking amazing is that? When I saw this, I just knew I had to get it for her because it's just so cute and it looks so realistic. I mean, I don't actually know if a Gucci harness for cats exists, but if it did, it would look like this. For five pounds, this is not bad at all. I'm super impressed with the quality of it. I mean, how much more bougie can a cat get than this? This is pretty much everything. The only thing that concerns me is that the harness looks quite small, but then again, Sky is quite a thin cat, so I feel like hopefully this should fit her. Okay guys, so I've got the little harness on and she's getting a little bit tangled, but this is what it looks like. It actually fits her pretty well, and I was really worried that it wasn't gonna fit her. And the leash is really nice because it's not too short. I feel like this is the perfect length, and as you can see, she really likes it. In fact, it actually kind of serves as a toy for her too. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like it's pretty comfortable for her, and I really like the look of it, so I'm gonna give this a big thumbs up. I think she's ready to go for her walk. Now the next item is actually a toy. So this is what it looks like. It's basically a ball, and I'm pretty sure this is supposed to move by by itself, which I think is literally the best invention ever. So let's crack it open and have a look. I'm pretty sure this was about four pounds on Wish. And this is it, look how cute it is. It does also come with a little USB cable to charge up the ball. I don't actually know where you would charge it. I think it opens. Either way, let's just turn it on and see if it has any charge of its own. Oh my God, it's moving. It's moving, look at it. This is so cool. Oh my God, she's gonna love that. All right guys, so the next item is the ball. Let's see if she likes it. Okay, so it doesn't really work on a carpet, but she's still playing with it. It's supposed to move by itself. Let's try it on the hard floor instead. What's that, Sky? <laughs> I think she's really confused by it. Do you like it, baby? It's your new toy. <laughs> All right, so I've just slipped the rug back to make more space for her so you guys can see how this actually works. There you go. Oh my God, she loves it. So I think the really good thing about this ball is that it doesn't get stuck under sofas or anything because Sky, she can play quite viciously sometimes and when it goes under the sofa, she can't ever get it out, but this comes out by itself. So I'm gonna give this a massive thumbs up. Now the next item is another little toy. It comes in a box like this and it's basically a little mouse. So this is what it looks like. And it's basically just a toy that you can put treats inside. And the little mouse has like little holes inside it. As your cat is playing with it, all the little treats kind of fall out at random and they can have a little treat, which I think is really cool. This was only two pounds and I feel like it's a really nice toy for pretty much any cat to play with. All right, the next item is the little mouse with the treats. Now I think, oh, I've already dropped it. I think she's actually really gonna like this because not only can she play with it, she can get treats. It's a win-win for her. She can definitely smell the treats inside there. Oh, <laughs> I think she's annoyed that she can't get them out. I don't think the treats will actually come out unless the cat is like really going for it and playing with it very viciously. Oh, there you go, this one. Look. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I got one. Come on then, baby, you have to knock it over. Look, like that. Yeah, there you go. See? Well done. Come on then, knock it over. Yeah. I feel like she's getting it now, kind of. <gasps> yeah. Oh, I feel like it has
has to be a bit more full for all the sweets to actually come out. <gasps> Did you get any out? Oh, bless. I feel like it's very temperamental, but it's so close. Look, some of the sweets are like right on the edge of coming out. Oh, okay, I'll give you some. There you go. It's on top. <laughs> it's on top of my hand. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna give this like half a thumbs up, half a thumbs down, because it does kind of work, but just not every time. And it leaves, it leaves the cat very disappointed, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, just eat the whole thing. That's that's the way. That's the way to go. Okay, guys, this next item is another toy. Now this one is pretty genius, and I really hope it works because basically it's a cheese block with little mice coming out of it at random. So then your cat is basically just going crazy because the mouse keeps appearing in different spots. I think this is battery operated, so I'm gonna have to get some batteries, but this looks so cool. Oh my God, look how cute this is. So it's got like a little stand. It's got some batteries that go at the bottom and then there's the little mouse inside. Oh my God. Also, I wish that the colors of the mouse and the cheese block were flipped because the mouse is yellow but the cheese block is white which is a little bit strange i mean it's not a big deal but whoever designed this come on cheese is yellow anyways i'm gonna pop some batteries in this and see how sky reacts to it okay guys the next item is the mouse block now i'm just gonna turn this on and see how she reacts to it what is it <laughs> oh my god she's playing with it Oh my god, she's really going for it now. Do you like it? Do you like your new toy? Oh, she's like, no, I'm annoyed. <laughs> Come on, baby, what is it? It's a little mouse. Oh. <laughs> she, <laughs> she just launched herself at it. What is it? It's a little mouse. You don't want to hurt the mouse, do you? Good girl. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> she almost broke it then. She's really trying to get it. <gasps> Baby! <laughs> I think she really likes this one. Look, there's another one on the other side. Now what? <laughs> She's like, oh my god, there's two! One on this side and one on this side. <laughs> she just tackled them both at the same time. so adorable <laughs> this toy is worth every penny I've got to say I think it will keep her entertained for hours and she's really actually liking it she's actually getting fooled by these little mice so I feel like this definitely deserves a thumbs up from me and Sky. okay guys this next item is another cute little outfit now I don't actually know if she's gonna like this one but I just really liked the look of it this is a little pink corduroy coat and you guys know I love corduroy myself so now Sky is gonna have a corduroy coat of her own it's even got the little teddy bear accents which I love as well in fact the whole coat is lined with this really nice fleece sort of teddy bear fabric that is so cute I do think this little jacket is actually more aimed at dogs especially because obviously dogs go out for walks and in the winter they get cold so this would be perfect for a dog but I still thought I'd get it and try it and see if it actually works for a cat okay guys so the next item is proven a little bit difficult to put on her because her actual paws won't go through the little like sleeves so this is how it would look on her but she's not letting me put it on her and I don't really want to stress her out so I'm gonna have to say that this was a little bit of a flop I mean maybe for a small dog this would work but for cats I highly doubt it because they just don't really want to cooperate as much as dogs do now the next item I got for Sky from Wish is actually a collar so this looked really cool on the listing I'll pop a photo of it on screen and when it came I realized that this really isn't for a cat this is how big the collar is the reason why I really liked it is because it's kind of got like a Burberry print on it it's got that whole checkered vibe I mean I can still try it on her but I just know it's gonna be way too big so that's kind of a flop I think this definitely would be 
be so much better for a dog and this was only four pounds so again it's super inexpensive okay guys so the collar is on and as you can see i've set it on pretty much the tightest setting and it's just literally way too big for her so this is a bit of a flop which i kind of expected anyway it's a really nice collar and had it have been smaller, it would have been perfect for her, but I'm gonna have to give this a thumbs down for cats. Now the next item on Wish was actually labeled as free. So if you guys have ever shopped on Wish, you might already know what that means. It's basically where the item itself is free, but you still have to pay the shipping. So technically it's not free. The shipping was only two pounds because the item is super small. This is literally it. It's basically a little catnip lollipop. I think that's what they called it. Oh, that smells really nasty. I can't really explain how this smells, but it kind of smells like caramelized something, which you'd think smells nice, but it really doesn't. Anyways, this is a lollipop that's supposed to be for cats to lick. You can actually stick it onto a wall or something because it's got a sticky back. And this is supposed to promote cats to drink more and also to have a better like breath so it doesn't smell. So let's give this a go and see if Skye likes it. The next item is the little lollipop. Let's see if Skye likes it. <gasps> she was just gonna bite the whole thing then. Oh my god, you can't take the whole thing, Skye. <laughs> Baby! Oh my god, look, she's made a dent in the thing. Baby, you can't bite that. That's a lollipop. Can you guys see this? This is literally what Sky has just done. <laughs> she bit a freaking like hole in this thing and she was even trying to bite the plastic, which is just not good. But I mean, I think she liked it, even though it smells disgusting. So I don't really know how to rate this. Let's see if she can be civilized and actually lick it. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Jeez. The next item comes in a white box like this and let's take a look at what's inside. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be one of the most expensive items of this video. Oh my god, this is I think the coolest toy I've ever bought for Sky. It's got a little controller and this thing right here is a little mouse car that's got a toy attached to the end of it. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You just control the little mouse car with the controller and oh my God, Sky is gonna go crazy. This could go two ways. She'll either really like it or she'll be super scared of it. So this was actually a little bit more expensive than the other items in this video. So this was 15 pounds on Wish. It seems that both the controller and the little car are battery operated. So I guess let's just pop some batteries in and give this a go. I'm so excited. All right guys, this next toy, I think she's really gonna like because she already likes the little fuzzy thing at the end. And I have no idea if she's actually gonna like the fact that it drives. So let's see her reaction. <laughs> she's like, what the hell? This moves? What do you think of that, Sky? What do you think of that? Oh, what do you think of that? Oh my God, this is so like vicious. I'm actually kind of scared of poking her in the eye with that because that would hurt her. So I really don't want to do that. Baby, do you like it? I knew she would act just like this. Like she's not going after it. She's just observing it because she's like, why does it move? What is it? Is it some kind of weird animal? I'm gonna let her sniff it for a sec without moving because that might scare her. What do you think of that one, hey? What's this? <laughs> the wheels, when you turn, they just go upside down, which is a little bit weird. And that's the only way to change direction. She's like, get this away from me. Why is this car upside down now, or on its side? I think she's actually more interested in the feather, like I said. She'd actually play with that, but not the car itself. Okay, I feel like that's 15 pounds wasted because she's not really interested. Oh, there we go. One little bit of interest that was worth the whole 15 quid. Now the next item is super exciting. It's basically a hoodie that you can put your cat in. So it's got a pocket right here where your cat can just sit in and chill and you can walk around with it. This seems like the perfect item for a cat lover. I got mine in size L because I really wanted to make sure that Sky fits inside the pocket. This was quite expensive, I'm not gonna lie. This was 14 pounds on Wish and it doesn't really feel that good quality, I've gotta say. I mean, that's usually to be expected with most things on Wish, but I don't know, I mean, it's still nice. This is what it looks like. It's got little pom-poms, it's got the hood where the cat is, and then the inside is lined with like a fleecy, 
fuzzy kind of fabric, but it's nowhere near as fuzzy as in the photo. So the cat pocket looks like this. It's actually quite big. I feel like she will actually fit in this. It's got a little clip to, you know, keep it together when you're not using it. And it's also got a little cinchy thing so that you can, you know, cinch it in and make sure that your cat is really nice and comfortable in there. If your cat is the kind of cat that likes to lay on you at all times and doesn't like to leave your side, I think this is a really nice idea for them. But if your cat is a little bit of a loner, they probably won't get along with this very well. Now Sky is kind of the in-between. I really don't know how she's gonna react to this because she doesn't really like to be picked up that much. But I guess we'll give it a go anyway, so hopefully she'll be okay with it. All right guys, so for this next one, I'm stood up because I'm gonna have to try and get Sky in here and I don't think I can do that by myself without Matt's help. So Matt's gonna try and help me put Sky in here and see if she likes it. But I have a feeling she's just gonna jump straight out. She's not really gonna like it, but who knows? Oh my God. Look, girly. Look, girly. She's in it, guys. Oh my god. I can't believe she's actually sat in here. <laughs> we have to bribe her with sweets. <laughs> this is so cute. I feel like a little kangaroo mum. Oh, baby. Do you like it? Yeah. So the only thing is, because of her weight, when I'm wearing the hood, it's really pulling down on my head. So I feel like I can't actually wear the hood. I think she's getting her tail. She wants her tail. Baby, baby, let me try and get your tail for you. Do you like these? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I literally feel like I don't need to ever have kids because she is my kid. <laughs> Sweetie. I honestly didn't think she would like this. She's quite like a scatty cat. She's not really one to just chill, but she really likes this. She's not going anywhere. Oh, you guys, she doesn't even want to get out. Look at her. She's like ready to go to bed in her new little pouch. This is probably the best thing I have ever bought. I'm literally dying inside with how cute she is. So in my last video, I told you guys that Skye does this thing where she sucks her tail to comfort herself. And she just decided to do it now in her little pouch. How adorable. Oh my gosh, baby. You got your little tail. Look at her kneading the bread as well. <laughs> okay guys, now the last item is probably the most exciting one. This is a tent for your cat. So I saw this and I freaked out. I just knew I had to get it for Sky. This was quite pricey. I think this was 20 pounds, but I wanted to get it for her just to try it for the sake of this video as well. I wanted to get a lot of things at different price points to really test the difference in quality and make depending on the price. So this thing comes with some wooden poles that came in like this really big black sleeve. And then it comes with the actual fabric of the tent itself in this little plastic bag. I guess now let's try and go assemble this thing. Okay guys, so the tent is now up and as you can see, Sky is really interested. Hello baby. Yeah, you can go inside. Oh yeah, she loves anything like this. Oh my god, baby, you got your own tent. <laughs> this is actually so cute. If I was small enough, I'd actually want one for myself, to be honest. And you could totally put like anything in there, really. You could put their bed in, you could put their bowls or food. I think this is such a cute idea for a pet. And also, you can actually like close the little doors, so you know, she's got a little bit more privacy. So I think I'm going to rate this a 10 out of 10. This is such a good idea for a cat or even a dog. So those were all of the cat items I'm going to try out for you guys today from Wish. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Also, make sure you guys check out the Solitaire Pets Adventure Game using the link in my description. Don't forget 10% of their campaign's earnings is actually going to the Animal Medical Center, which is absolutely amazing. Let me know down below which one of these items was your favorite and would you purchase them for your cat or dog. If you have a pet, let me know what their name is down below. My cat's name is Sky. So if you guys want to follow her on Instagram, I'll link it down below. Her Instagram is just Sky the Savannah. Anyways, that is all from me. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.